I'm Jen Chance. It's Sunday, January 23rd. Here are your latest headlines from 7 Action News. A man arrested in connection with the disappearance of 17-year-old Zion Foster is expected to be arraigned tomorrow. The East Point teenager hasn't been seen or heard from since January 4th. Family members tell us she was last seen with 21-year-old Jalen Brazier, her cousin through marriage. He turned himself in Saturday after being named a person of interest in the case. Brazier's arraignment will be held at the 38th District Court. We are still working to learn what exactly he's been charged with. Another lawsuit is challenging Michigan's new U.S. House District map. Michigan Republicans have filed the suit in an effort to block the new congressional map. They argue it's constitutionally flawed. The lawsuit also accuses the state's redistricting commission of ignoring map drawing criteria that was approved back in 2018 by Michigan voters. This is the second lawsuit to challenge the U.S. House map. Starting tomorrow, Michigan taxpayers can start filing their state income tax returns. Individuals can file their state return online with a tax professional or by mailing in paper forms. This also applies to anyone filing income taxes in the city of Detroit. All employers are required to mail out W-2s and 1099s for 2021 to their employees by January 31st. The deadline to file both state and Detroit income taxes is April 18th, 2022. Hallie? It is definitely a cold day, but a snowy one. So watch for slick road conditions today. A couple of inches possible, one to three again tomorrow. And then much colder air. We'll see teens and 20s on Tuesday and highs only in the teens again on Wednesday.